trucks, those petite powerhouses of the automotive world, are witnessing a resurgent interest. Once a staple of the truck sector, these smaller siblings to their full-sized kin were nearly forgotten as consumer preferences shifted towards larger models during the late 20th century. However, as economic considerations have increasingly come to the fore, with rising vehicle and fuel costs, buyers are looking anew at these versatile and efficient options. Modern entrants like the Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz are drawing consumers who seek the practicality of a pickup truck without sacrificing the driving comfort and fuel efficiency typically associated with crossovers. Such models have carved a niche in the market, satisfying a growing demand for vehicles that blend the best of both worlds. With additional compact trucks poised to enter the market in the upcoming year, the segment is expected to further expand as manufacturers across the United States respond to this renewed interest. As soon as models like the Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz hit the market, buyers who wanted the utility of a pickup, but the comfort and economy of a crossover rushed to the dealers. Two more compact trucks are confirmed for the next year, and we also expect moves by every other truck maker in the US. Hyundai and Ford pioneered the compact truck segment, innovatively repurposing components from their crossovers. These compact trucks feature a unibody construction, a design choice that distinctly influences vehicle handling. Architecture is more common in passenger cars, but lends small pickups a driving experience that combines utility with the comfort and maneuverability typically associated with smaller vehicles. We'll still call it the best compact pickup until more rivals arrive. The 2025 Ford Maverick is drawing from the Escape crossover's design. This model drops the traditional body-on-frame structure, embracing instead a unibody approach that does not detract from its robust payload and towing capacity. Under the hood lies a standard turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine, paired with front-wheel drive, while options include all-wheel drive and a hybrid powertrain for enhanced driving experience. The Maverick impresses with its ability to tow up to 4,000 pounds when equipped properly. Truck's interior is thoughtfully arranged, offering an upscale feel that belies its modest pricing, except for the base XL trim which is simpler and tailored more towards commercial usage. The Ford Maverick, with its mix of practicality and affordability, carves out a solid position for itself in the small pickup truck market. The Hyundai Santa Cruz has emerged as a noteworthy entrant in the compact truck segment, contrasting with early market expectations of a mid-size model. Its debut, however, was shadowed by Ford's introduction of the Maverick, which claimed the title as the pioneer in compact pickups. Hyundai's Santa Cruz offering is a dichotomy in performance, basic SE and SEL models are equipped with a modest 191-horsepower four-cylinder engine and come with the option of front or all-wheel drive. In higher trims, the truck uses a robust 281-horsepower turbocharged engine, paired exclusively with all-wheel drive configuration. Premium variants shine with advanced technology and upscale interiors, albeit with a shift towards touchscreens over physical controls. Reflecting its crossover roots, the 2025 Santa Cruz will deliver a driving experience akin to the Hyundai Tucson, blending car-like handling with functional truck attributes. It stands tall with a cargo box that facilitates practical hauling tasks and a tow rating of 5,000 pounds, evidence of its utility and an edge over the Maverick. Despite these qualities, preferences in the compact truck market often tilt towards Ford's offering. The success of Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz made other truck makers take the same path. A year after, we already have another two trucks confirmed, Toyota Stout and Ram Rampage. Let's check what we know so far about these models and what to expect. The 2025 Toyota Stout is poised to redefine the compact truck segment with its strategic design and performance features. Stemming from the acclaimed durability of the brand, the Stout will be underpinned by the TNGA unibody platform, meshing the ruggedness of a truck with the practicalities of urban driving. Its design, as Toyota executives suggest, leans towards an SUV truck hybrid, offering additional utility to city dwellers. In terms of power, the Stout is expected to share a drivetrain lineup with the Corolla series, particularly borrowing elements from the Corolla Cross model. With a prospective hybrid powertrain, the Stout could potentially produce 196 horsepower and achieve over 40 miles per gallon, beating Maverick's mileage. The commitment to a hybrid option across the board by 2025 underscores Toyota's dedication to environmental consciousness and market adaptability, promising a versatile and forward-thinking addition to the compact truck market.
Spy photos of the Ram compact truck were shown shortly after Maverick's debut. Now we have more info, ending up the naming speculation. It won't be called Ram 1200 or Dakota, but Rampage. Ram compact truck draws plenty of attention. Stellantis's strategic investment of $250 million in the Rampage sets it apart, as such developments often transcend the billion-dollar mark. The 2025 Rampage borrows dimensions largely from Fiat Toro rather than the larger Ram 1500, ensuring its own distinct design flair. The pickup stretches 198 inches in length, sporting a 117.7-inch wheelbase with an impressive ground clearance of 10.5 inches. It uses a turbocharged four-cylinder engine, delivering a robust 268 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. While competing models offer hybrid options, the Rampage currently does not, posing a challenge to its rise in popularity. A diesel version will be available internationally. All 2025 Ram Rampage models come with a nine-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive as standard features. Pricing of the new compact pickup is yet to be announced. In the ever-competitive sector of compact trucks, General Motors has kept the industry guessing. While unconfirmed, there's speculation of a new truck in the works, potentially reviving a cherished nameplate like El Camino or introducing the Montana, a name with traction in South America. Meanwhile, brands like Nissan and Honda appear to be sidestepping the compact truck trend, focusing on their existing automotive portfolios. Kia, on the other hand, just came forth with the Tasman, a mid-size model. This recent introduction suggests that Kia may hold off on competing directly in the compact truck market for the time being, as they anticipate the Tasman's reception in the United States. In the era of increased efficiency, these vehicles appear to be the future of the industry. What are your thoughts? Would you consider trading a midsize or half-ton truck for the new compact pickup? Probably not, but let us know why. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.